Everybody gets a chance to participate. Let me set the stage for you. You are all employees receiving a paycheck. You're also processing paychecks for other employees. You're here in a seminar by National called Payroll Law. When I prompt you to respond, I want you all to respond in unison. Okay? So here we go in five and four and three and two and one. Good morning. Good my, name morning. Is, morning. my name is Carl Young. I'm going to be your trainer for the day on this exciting and engaging subject called payroll law. Now, have you ever heard of, does that term sound kind of contradictory? Yes. Let me see if I can make the case for you. In the case of payroll, what do you do? You pay people and you receive payment. Now, if you did not receive your paycheck this last pay period, what would happen? Don't answer, this is a family show. <laughs> if the other, and if the other employees did receive their paycheck, what would happen? They would come down and do what? Wonder how you got on this earth in the first place. <laughs> so the normal expectation for payroll is what? Perfection. Say that after me, perfection. perfection. That's what we're trying to get in payroll. On the other hand, in payroll processing, because payroll is based on what lots of entitlements, legal requirements, legal implications. In the case of payroll processing, if we don't do it correctly, what happens? There are punitive consequences. It's bad news. We can show you where some companies have been fined $1.6 million in overtime. I have been a party to some of that. And I will tell you as we go through the training about my experience with the Department of Labor in the person of Mrs. Janet, but don't call me Janet Bodmer, who can best be described in the words of a country song I heard with the personality that could knit a barbed wire fence. I had to deal with Mrs. Bodmer, and we got consequences that were fairly severe, not in terms of a million dollars, but hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's the bad news. Good news is what? It is all preventable. And that's what we're going to do. So say that with me, prevention. prevention. So on one hand, we're dealing with what? Perfection. And on the other hand, we're dealing with prevention. And that's what we're going to try to get you to do today by developing an action plan with resources that you can relate to that you can take back to your companies to do what now? Get at perfection, perfection and prevention. prevention. Now, how are we going to do that? I'm also an amateur mind reader, and I can read some minds in here and say, oh, we'll just go and Google it. <laughs> we'll find out what's on the Internet. Yes, go do that. You're going to find 1.9 million pages about payroll law. No idea about implication, no idea about application. We're going to help you take those $1.9 million, million pages and break those down into something that's meaningful, something that you can use when you go back to your company to once again create what? Perfection and prevention. How are we going to do that? We're going to look at the five basic mistakes that we make in payroll, and we're going to help you to correct those mistakes. And what are those mistakes? Misclassifying employees inadequate processes and procedures, missing deadlines, improper processing of things like garnishments, levies, child support payments, and record keeping. Those are the five things we're going to help you turn around to a positive and make certain that you're doing this in a very positive manner and have you develop within this session an action plan to help you to do this when you get back to your companies. To create what now? Perfection and prevention. Yes, but we're not going to stop there. We're going to look at some of the current challenges that people have in this whole area of payroll law. What are those challenges? Handheld devices, people are on those things 24-7. Are they working? Are they just checking in? What does it mean? And in some cases, this is doing what? This is putting at peril the classification of that employee. It is also putting at peril the benefits that they may be getting. 
because are they working or are they not working? What about overtime? What about all these temporary folks that you're bringing in? All of these things are challenges that you now face that we will help you with in this session by giving you a good action plan and related resources aimed at doing what? Creating. Prevention. Prevention. Thank you very much.